Hi guys! So today I'm back again and we're gonna try on this Dear Claire's Cushion Foundation. So I'm just gonna look at the packaging right now. It's cruelty free and it has SPF 50 PA++++. So I got mine in the shade 23Y E Crew and I actually went to Bangsar and I just stumbled upon this pharmacy that my sister was telling me about and I didn't realize that there were so many K-beauty brands in there. Well, not too many but a good amount that you wouldn't necessarily find in a normal drugstore in Malaysia. So I am really lucky that I got my hands on this and I tested it out so you guys can see how the whole wear test is in the next part of this video. But for this part, I'm gonna do a little get ready with me and we can just chat with each other. And that's about it. I'm such a huge fan of cushions, especially when I went to Seoul. And even though my shade and most of these shades don't necessarily match, it kind of does oxidize a little bit as the day goes on. The main problem that all of us face is actually humidity and like using this cushion foundation in Malaysia. So Malaysia is a very hot and humid country and for someone who is as oily as I am, it's so difficult to find a foundation that matches me plus controls oil properly. So it's very important for me to try these kind of cushion foundations just to see if it actually matches me and my skin type as well. So see the finish and how it looks like on the face. So I'm pretty medium skin toned and like Korean foundations usually just range from like the lightest and palest range to the darkest range which is not that dark at all and that's like a 23 like that's like the basic basic code in Korean foundations so we're gonna test it out today and I've already done some of my skincare I'm just gonna be applying this on right now so it comes with two puffs inside the box one is a daily puff and the other one is a cover-up puff the one that's already inside the foundation I'm assuming is the daily puff while the other one that they give yeah like the other foundation puff is the cover-up puff that's what I'm assuming yeah I'm right so this is the daily puff because it says navy on the box so we're gonna be using the daily puff and we're just gonna try it on this is actually pretty exciting i mean like if there are two different puffs for different coverages for the skin i feel like that's revolutionary right here okay so i'm just using the puff and i'm gonna be applying this all over my face right now so as you can see it is a little lighter than my natural skin tone so let's just try to cover everything up and see whether or not it blends properly let me do like a little story time so when i was younger i never liked makeup i thought like why are you, why is everybody putting so much on their face like i don't know why i was so salty but i was and i remember we were in new york this one time and my sister wanted to get like an Urban Decay naked like eyeshadow palette and I was so pissed at her I was like what we're just stopping in like Times Square for you to get like a a naked palette from Urban Decay at Sephora this is insane and I remember I was like 12 or something and like I was so pissed at her because she was getting a freaking eyeshadow palette in the middle of Times Square so when I turned 13, I think, or 12, I don't know, my sister gifted me a blush, just a blush, while everybody gifted me books because I was that girl. I was a total nerd. I loved reading so much and my favorite books were like Harry Potter. I couldn't like get my hands off of it, you know, even when it was exam times, uh, exam time, I just had to read it and I just had to finish the series. So. She gave me my first blush and I never looked back since. I'm like a makeup addict. But it's also because I feel like makeup truly empowers women and that's my favorite part of doing makeup. Don't let anybody tell you that it's wrong or ugly or not acceptable in society. Do it because you love it and because you think you look beautiful because at the end of the day, what matters most is what you see in yourself and what you like for yourself. Piece of advice I wish I could take for myself, honestly. But it's very true and I hope that everybody sees it for themselves. So yeah. So I'm actually really excited to bring you guys um, to a very monumental place in Malaysia and that is Batu Caves. 
exciting to show you guys like the different cultures of Malaysia and the different ethnicities that our country has. It's so beautiful and I hope you guys like this wear test video but at the same time I really hope that you would come and visit Malaysia as well. guys now I'm at Butter Cave and I'm gonna check my my foundation so I'm using the Claire's foundation so I'll see how it lasts when I go up the steps so far it hasn't wet off anywhere so we'll see how it looks like when I go up. For now it looks pretty good and it looks intact and nothing. So I decided to do a foundation review today just because I feel like I'm going to be sweating so much when I go up the stairs and it's like a really good um, test to see if the makeup would hold up but mostly the foundation so it's the Claire's cushion foundation and so far it looks really good still so we'll see how it lasts to the top and back down again bye bye so, I mean, 272 steps right now just to test this makeup out. Just kidding. I have to go up anyway. But yeah, we're climbing it up right now and let's go to the top. Yeah, so we're still halfway up. Very tired already. There's no monkeys today. Whoops. <laughs> So far, it looks all right still. I'm already sweating. Wow, it's a workout. But it still looks fine. So let's go into Hawaii. Humidity proof foundation. Get him. Back down from climbing the 270 steps 
and I'm gonna see how my makeup is. So far, it's still really good with the humidity and also the mask. And look at how pretty it is. Oh, okay. It's very noisy here, so I recommend this foundation gets 9 over 10. So it's not 10, 10 because nothing is perfect in this world. Please. Oh, I like it. Give it my young mom. Yeah.